Hello students, so this is your instructor, Jason Kano. So you are now in um, lecture, online discussion in PE1 subject or course. So we are now in lesson 1 entitled Philippine Physical Activity Pyramid. So we are going to discuss about the standard according to the Philippine um, Physical Activity Pyramid. So, we will differentiate the standards with your own um, activity or physical activity. And then we will need some alignment um, based on your actual physical activity and the Philippine Physical Activity Pyramid. So, before we will discuss on that particular part, we need to discuss the recent or the actual situation of the uh, especially the young people or the children or just like you as a students or in the college level okay so today most children are fond of eating unhealthy foods like junk foods which are low in nutrients i do believe you also or we also uh, had fun in eating unhealthy foods uh, especially junk foods we, uh, we like drinking um, soft drinks, milk tea, um, sweets, candies, and uh, like chocolates, etc. And then sometimes or mostly we neglect the um, food that is healthy like fruits and vegetables. So we all know that the we want this kind of food because it is uh, have a good taste and very appetizing. But there is a negative effect on eating these foods, okay? And it also causes a health problems. That is why there's a lot of young people or a lot of children are hospitalized because of some issues or health issues. And it is because of the food that we intake. And one of the um, diseases or illness that the young people or the children experience it's like the UTI. Okay, so the reason for that there are two reasons. One for um, it's because of the hygiene, and the other one is because of the food or drinks that we intake into our body. So one of the reasons why the person is going to hospital because he found he or she founds a sickness or illness in his body, and one of the major causes of that is because of the food that we intake and our physical activities that we engage in it's either we emphasize of certain activity or we neglect so that are that is the reasons of some health problems so the active work pyramid was created to respond to health concerns so there are many professionals, there are many um, experts who made this, uh, we call the physical activity pyramid as a standard on how to um, manage our, you know, activity as we um, engage in our daily, daily task or daily activity. So at the end of this lesson in this lesson one you should be able to assist your participation in physical activity based on the philippine physical activity pyramid so you are going to evaluate your own participation or your own activity that you are are engaged with in a in a week what are those physical activities what are your lifestyle and then we need to align it with the philippine physical activity pyramid so we are going to diagnose we are going to assess ourselves if our physical activities is aligned with the philippine physical activity pyramid so let's um watch or i mean let's um study the philippine physical activity pyramid i do believe that you already know the uh, Maslow's hierarchy of needs that is also have a shape of like a triangle 
So in the lowest part, this is the most important, and then the upper part is not so important. Just like, for example, in Maslow's hierarchy of needs, the lowest part or the biggest part of the pyramid is the basic, which is the food, shelter, and clothing, and then the topmost is the self-actualization. Okay, but in this part, the Philippine Physical Activity Pyramid, these are the activities. So the lowest part here is the everyday that we are doing or activity that we are doing, and then the upper part is the just like this word seldom, just like once a week, and then the lowest part is every day. So for example, in this uh, Philippine Physical Activity Pyramid, every day, it was suggested that every day you will playing outside, not just playing with your cell phone, mga email, mga TikTok, and social medias. But instead, every day we need to play outside as a children or as, or as a young people, uh, doing household chores or walking or feeding the animals or cleaning toys. So as we can observe, this will be an, there will be an engagement in our physical body and also for it was suggested to four to six times a week there's playing a basketball volleyball soccer okay so playing of games or rollerblades biking running then swimming and also two to three times a week just for example push up pull up or mother dance or ballroom or tumbling or climbing and then once a week it must be only seldom watching tv playing computer games or sitting for a long time laying down for a long time and sad to say in our uh, generation today because of the technology because of the gadgets sometimes Mahimo na siyang mabali. We always watching TV. We we are always watching YouTube, Facebook, playing computer games, than playing outside. So this is Philippine physical activity pyramid is a guide to improve your physical fitness and recommends different physical activities. So it is a visual representation that commence the time to be allotted in your actual work so individuals simply perform exercises they need to do and have to do however not what they ought to perform so being associated with standard proactive tasks it will give you an outrageous advantage on top of being in great shape okay sad to say the children nowadays or the young people or I think you as a college students we are engaged more on watching TV playing computer games in our cell phone in uh, or just like this one sitting for a long time or laying down for a long time but instead we need to more engage in physical activities than just sitting or watching TV or playing computer games if we are doing these things more than the physical fitness there is a big tendency that we will have any health problems or issues i do believe that you have heard a lot of news in the tv or in the social media there's a lot of youth who are addicted with computer games just like ml um, they are playing from uh, start with in the morning until in the late evening so what happened they were hospitalized because of their you know they have a brain damage most especially if you are going to watch the cell phone in a dark places okay it will have a more uh, radiation that you will absorb by your eyes or by your brains so it can damage your health by you know engaging that in a very long time so i hope that after you have this lesson lesson one you will change your lifestyle by um, doing these things for a very long time 
you have the um, you will decide to do it in just a cell dump you will just do it sometimes or once a week or once every month just like that not doing it every day okay the important here is that you need to engage your physical activities more than just sitting or laying down okay so for your learning task for this lesson one you need to plot your weekly physical activities in the table just like this one this is an example so you need to um, for example here which physical activities take up most of your week examples of physical activities are written for you copy and answer this table on your answer sheet so you need to get one sheet of band paper you need to make a table write sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday and saturday and then you need to chop down you need to write down all your physical activities or your activities that you are in, engaging with for example in sunday attending church um, playing volleyball etc and then monday to saturday and then you need to answer the questions what did you realize after the task which of the physical activities you perform are beneficial to your body and then why and then number three how do you make your body physically fit throughout the week again for instructions you need to make a table you need to put sunday monday to saturday and then you need to write all your activities if you have the same activity in uh, with uh, together with the uh, different days you need to highlight or to color it with the same color like attending online modules same with tuesday if you color it with yellow you need to color also this part with a yellow and then you need to answer these three questions so thank you for listening and i hope that after doing this learning task you will learn something you will realize something and i hope that you will make some changes of your lifestyle you need to engage more in physical fitness and you need to minimize your time in just sitting down or playing with your uh, cell phone thank you see you in the next lesson bye bye